we've got four different compounds we're going to take a look at. Distilled water, salt, sugar, and vinegar. And um, the only one of those, well, there's two that are ionic, and the, the other two are molecular. Distilled water is the first one. Uh, I just got some giant brand distilled water here. The question is, is it an electrolyte? Does it carry an electric current? Uh, how many people, have, you know, you hear the whole thing, there's an electric storm, lightning, get out of the pool, everyone. How many, think, how many people think pure water will carry an electric current? Raise your hand. I think that's true. Okay. Just one. Only one's brave enough. All right. Pure water will carry. How many think that pure water will not carry an electric current? Okay. Let's find out. What I have is a light bulb that's plugged in, but the circuit's not completed. It's got two um, electrodes here, and if I immerse them in an electrolyte solution, something that can carry current, the light bulb will light up. So if I get that pure distilled water and I put this in, nothing. So the answer is no. Sorry, Ben, but you were brave. Um, a pure water is a molecular compound. It will not carry an electric current because there are not any mobile charged particles, an electrolyte. Uh, so if you had a bathtub full of pure uh, distilled water, you still shouldn't throw a toaster in there. But um, it shouldn't, in theory, carry any electric current at all. It's quite a good insulator, in fact. However, add a little electrolyte to that. So take a look up here. Salt is an ionic uh, material, and when I dissolve it from the solid phase to the aqueous phase, I now have ions, mobile particles, in solution. So I should be able to transmit an electric current. So once again, just to show you I'm not, I'm not messing with you, no current is carried. Now I just take a little salt, pour it in there, and stir it up, and we should get enough ions in solution to carry an electric current. So I take my uh, conductor and put it in, and yeah. okay. I've got charged particles that are mobile, so I can carry an electric current in there. Yes, question, go ahead. Do pools carry an electric current? Absolutely, because of the chlorine in there. They actually put a bleach-like compound, and the chlorine in solution is as chloride ion. So when they tell you to get out of the pool, it's for a reason. Uh, same with ocean water. Obviously, salt water, lots of ions in solution. So there's my salt water. What I want to do is take a look at sugar. Sugar is a molecular compound. It is covalent in nature. Look what happens when sugar dissolves, sucrose. You go from a solid to an aqueous particle, are there any charges, though, in solution? No. When sugar dissolves, it does something very different from an ionic compound. It dissociates into whole molecules, not charged particles, but whole charge-balanced molecules. So this has charge neutrality in solution. So if I take my distilled water and I pour some sugar in there, I should not get any sort of current across. Here we go. We'll get some sugar, stir it up, and is it sugary? It's good enough. Put this in, and no current. Okay. So sugar is a molecular compound. There's no charged particles in solution. Cannot carry a current. Last case is vinegar. Um, vinegar is a weak acid. It's a weak electrolyte it will only partially dissociate in aqueous solution. The vast majority of acetic acid molecules will not dissociate, but some of them will. And an acid always creates a certain kind of ion in solution. This guy right here, the hydrogen ion, which remember is just a proton, right? Um, hydrogen has one electron, you strip it away, you've got protons in solution, okay? But a strong acid will totally dissociate, like hydrochloric, strong acid. This is a weak acid. So we may not get very many charged particles in solution. So when I again hold my, let me uh, rinse the salt off of there, pour the sugar off of there. When I hold that in the solution, I may or may not get a light. Even better. Does so everybody see what's happening? It's kind of a dim, dull light. So I've got some particles mobile in solution, but not a lot. So just again to show you that I'm not messing with you, you've got a dull light in a weak electrolyte solution, a non-electrolyte solution, sugar water, no current at all, but a strong electrolyte solution, we get a, a strong response from our conduction meter. Okay? Um, 
There is another conductivity meter that you guys are going to use later in the year. It's this one right here. It's got two little probes and a diode, a light emitting diode. And there's actually a diode in here that will shut off once it reaches a minimum threshold current. So a strong electrolyte will, uh, will ramp up, the current will ramp up to that threshold, it'll shut it off. Ramp up, shut it off. Ramp up, shut it off. So you get, in a strong electrolyte, you get a blinking, a blinking light like that. That's a good conductor. In a lousy conductor, like uh, vinegar, a weak electrolyte solution, you should get a solid light. So it's not quite reaching that minimum threshold voltage to, to shut off. And of course, in a non-electrolyte solution, like uh, sugar, sugar water, you get no light at all. No, oh, it's because I've got the two ends of the probe there. That's better. Now, just for your information, saliva is also a weak acid and a weak <laughs> electrolyte, so I've got a, a solid light instead of a blinking light. There. Okay? So it does carry electric current. Thank you, Keita.